Hey guys, Loman02, currently playing some old school. We'll be playing with the deck today. Uh, this hand is kind of a virtual mulligan to five. Unfortunately, we already had a mulligan to six. Fireball's not an opening card or opening hand card you want to see, but I'm going to keep this. Um, you know, it could possibly get there. The first hand we had had like all the power cards, like no no power mana and no lands, uh, but it did have an ancestral recall. So if I wanted to be exceedingly greedy, I could have kept it and tried to hope to hit a blue source and uh, just draw in the lands that way. But. Even on the draw, I don't think that was worth doing. Um, even though this is a very landed deck, but it has a lot of colorless mana sources in it. Um, that's going to go directly to the bottom. I don't really want to recall yet. There are a few ways of shuffling the library up. All right, so Mountain. Mox Ruby. And nothing. Okay. Well, do I fear Ball Lightning? I think I do. I think I'm going to play around Ball Lightning here. If it's a tog, I'm going to feel like a fool. Because I want a Demonic Tutor, actually, for Ancestral Recall. <clears throat> Alright, go. Probably going to throw some bolts at me. Thanks, man. That'd be my guess. Oh, we don't get any lightning bolts. Alright. Well, I have to be leery of my life total against uh, what appears to be a mono red deck. Could be like the Atog aggro deck. I don't want to just get ball lightning out of the game though. Ball lightning hitting me would be kind of ruinous. So I could have. What, what I'm thinking is I could have demonic tutored for the ancestral right now, but eh. Alright, well, not quite ball lightning. Uh, the Mai Jai Jin, or however you say that. I take my damage here. Well, that's unfortunate. That would have allowed me to do it on the following turn. So maybe I, sh I, I should have waited. Alright, tap the City of Brass. Go for this. Go for Ancestral. Ancestral, myself. Alright, don't really hit anything exceedingly relevant. So we have to pass the turn and hope... Again, we don't get ball lightning down here. Now I suppose next turn we can hold up counter magic. Alright, well, we could just be seeing a... Like a what is this going to be? <laughs> yeah, a dragon? Could have a shivin. We should probably do it here. Feels like a shivin. Yep, it's a shivin with bad art. Well, at the end of the day, though, there's this. I mean, they can pump this thing and do a lot of damage to me. My thing is this, though. I can still fireball this thing out. I probably want to leave up a counter spell of some sort here. They're probably just going to pump this thing to 8 power, though. I mean, they could be greedy and try to play something else out. They know if I had Swords to Plowshares, I would have cast it there. Unfortunately, I do not have it in hand. Another possible line they could take is, um, I don't know if they're running Red Elemental Blast main, as opposed to pumping this thing to 8, because I could be holding Swords to Plowshares still. What do we have here? Chain Lightning, yep. Uh, no. No thanks.
Well, the best draw on the deck would still be STP, so I can Disrupting Scepter, activate next turn. And just knock their last card out of their hand. Okay. Alright, well, if they do just this, I'm going to hope to hit any mana source here. Very awkward play, but one that we have to do. Alright, take five, Shivan. They likely have many, many bullets in their deck. So there's that. You just draw a jet here. Now, if they throw a bolt at me, I can just counter it. Another Shivan, okay. Gonna counter this gentleman. And say go. Alright, they're on a dragon's deck. That's pretty cool. Yep. It'll resolve. And I think we're dead. Well, we'll see. I guess we have a coin flip ahead. We'll at least reduce what they are able to cast. Alright, they drew a uh, land for the turn. And do they win the coin flip or do they lose it? We shall see. Alright, they won? Okay, well, we're dead. And yeah, let's see if it would have made a difference. Uh, yeah, actually, it would have. Would have been, well, actually, no, 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 no. I have a recall. That would not have made a difference. I need to have two cards to do that. Alright, so Circle Protection Red, Greater Realm, uh, Blue Elemental Blast, likely Lightning Bolts, uh, because I don't want these. Maybe we don't want Bolts in general. Disenchant seems kind of marginal against them, at least from what we saw. They didn't appear to have any, like, Juggernauts or anything. I mean, maybe we want to leave, like, one or a couple. Maybe we want to leave a couple in. The Abyss seems fine. Um, Scepter and Tome, I think, can go down to Singletons. Um, what do I think of this? I think this is fine. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. Could want a um, a Maze of Ith in the deck as well. All right. Well, this is an obvious Mulligan. All right. This would be a Keeper. It's not great, but it does have mana and things. And we could even slow roll. All right. I'll keep it. Um, I'm gonna definitely top that. That card's gonna be pretty good, I think. I need to draw in some white mana, but... Now, here's the question. Do I actually slow roll my cards to get library going? Because library is virtually unbeatable once it does get going. I mean, if they have another, like, nut draw with the, the Lotus, then... Yeah, we'll probably lose. It's going to chain lightning me. No, I'm good. I think I might, actually... If they're just going to throw their cards at me, I think I'm going to be better off that way. I mean, that could be proven wrong here, but if they don't have acceleration, yeah, if they're just playing lands. All 
All right, go ahead. Maybe they have Blood Moon in their deck, too. That would be kind of disastrous for me. Yeah, maybe I should have considered that. Blood Moon would be kind of a disaster here. I may have to be worried about Hydro Blast, but... And I only have one Disenchant left in the deck. Yeah, maybe I should have considered leaving more Disenchants in. Maybe you have to consider uh, Blue Elemental Blast here. I think I played this correctly, though. I think you do go for the library in this, in this against this matchup or in this matchup. Especially because it really didn't look like they hit hard until like turn three or four. Because they have the Jin, they probably have Ball Lightning. I do want to get to my first counter spell or first couple counter spells because they they if they don't have Blood Moon. They certainly have Reb. My question is, if they have the Blood Moon, do they just jam it? No, they don't. I think here you almost just have to. I don't want them to. Alright, well now I can answer it in a minimum. Um, Alright, well, we'll uh, play a land out. Draw a card. Play this out and say go. I'm going to allow bolts and stuff like that to happen. I just kind of want to get through some of these colorless lands that I have, the Mistress Factories specifically, and just to uh, hopefully get a draw out here. All right, Goblin, or not Goblin, Dragon Whelp is fine. We'll just kill that. Probably Mana Drain almost anything they do. Yeah, it's going to put me down a little bit on cards. Oh, shit. Why did I tap that? Undo. Nope, can't undo it. <laughs> oh, Maze of Ith. Alright, go ahead, have it. Oh, bailed out by the deck, I suppose. I would like some blue mana now. Or the Abyss. The Abyss is what I was going to go for. I wanted to Mana Drain that, then Demonic Tutor into the Abyss. Alright, well. Alright. The Dragon Whelp should be a dead. And now we at least have Blue Elemental Blast to protect us against whatever else they do next. And if it's like an artifact creature, well, we can uh, deal with that next turn with Fireball. We definitely got a lot of counter magic, so the deck listened to us. We just don't really have the blue resources to cast them all. So they're starting to get a little newsome, but we're on an active library. Soon, Jame Day Tome, Jame Day Tome could be active now, but I just want to keep the board controlled first. Okay. And Swallow Sadness, Dragon Whelp. So Dragon Stompy in old school. Hmm. Alright, there's Juggernaut. Yep, that is a card. That is kind of one of the ones we were thinking about. 
So I'll have to fireball it, like we were saying. Or we could just block it, right? Can we become a 5-5? Five, five? I think I'm fine discarding here. Yeah, I want to leave up Counterspell, I think. And what do we discard? I mean, we may just discard the Recall. The rec Well, the Recall is going to be good over time. I'd probably just discard one Counterspell. They could spend a lot of spells blowing up my factories, but I don't think that's a huge problem for me. I mean, the Juggernaut's got to attack, so I'll just block it probably with two factories and see what happens. Oh no, it's got to get in there. That's one of its drawbacks. That is its drawback. It's an attacking card. Very great rate, but... I'm just going to make two of them right now. going to trigger a bolt. Try to plus this one up too. Alright, it's really dead. <laughs> now well, they can chain lightning my other factory. Eh, whatever. I think I would allow that to happen. Yeah, okay. And here we just pass it, I think. Just continue to draw through the deck and let them run out of cards. I already made my land drop, so there's no point in drawing right now. I mean, unless we hit a Mox, it's pretty bad. Or, like, a source of free mana, essentially. 
At some point, we can get back the factories if we really want them, but, I mean, eating two cards for two cards is fine, and this deck runs a ton of mana. It really doesn't need the colorless mana right now. It just needs colored mana, so I think we're fine trading those off there. Um, I'm going to draw here, see what's what. All right, well, we would have drawn that. I think I am going to just counter this. I don't really need the mana right now. I don't have a vast mana sink other than Recall, and, like, I don't have a lot of great stuff to get back. All right, they have Red Elemental Blast. All right, well, I've got a uh, Blue Elemental Blast. That new art red is kind of interesting. All right. Well, I think I will draw here because I'm looking for a land drops. I think we'll just uh, time walk here. Do I resolve this thing? Eh, no. All right, we'll draw here again. I really don't want more cities of brass. All right, we'll say go at this point. I think eventually we'll just overwhelm this deck with cards off of Loa. Kind of the power of Loa. Um, yeah, I'm going to say okay to that. Nope. You got me. You got me good. The question is, yeah, I'm still going to draw here because I'm still looking for land drops. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. All right, Greater Realm, and go. Build up the pillow for it a little bit. Oh, all of the Juggernauts. I think we'll attempt to counterspell this. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely draw. Yeah, we'll pass it. Would have been nice to find a land, but we did not, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I think the Abyss is going to just seal it up. Do I want Maze of Ith in this? Eh, I probably do want one more Dischance. I don't actually want Balance. Um, Dischance is probably better. Copy Artifact seems kind of marginal. Moat seems bad. Yeah, I think we just go with this. So, Dragon Stompy. Alright, this hand's fine. Um, I mean, it could be better, but it's kind of a 6 already. But I'm going to say go on it. Like, it's it's got Blue Elemental Blast to deal with anything the, that gets on the board early. play both out. They could have Shatter in their deck, but if they're going to Shatter a Mox, okay, I think they'd want to save it for something like Jame Day Tome. Okay. Well, City of Brass is a good pick up there. I mean, I don't really want to have damage lands. I'd rather have a Tundra, but it allows me to cast all of my spells. If they play a Dragon Whelp here, I'm just going to plow it, I think. Yup. Well, 
Well, I think we assume some risk here. I mean, if they have Shatter, they have Shatter. I'm just going to land this thing and hope that Disenchant plus Blue Elemental Blast can deal with the board after I've landed it. So if they go Sugar Dot, I can just blow it up and leave Counterspell up. If they go, like, I don't know, like, Rube, or another, uh, well, I probably don't have any more uh, power. All right, Juggernaut, yeah. That's that's kind of what I was expecting to have happen. Like, just dra jam a Juggernaut, maybe throw a Chain a chain Lightning at my face. Um, I was going to say, if you have Chain Lightning, you probably do it there. Well, you can't rev this. All right, bolt. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't. I was F six, but I wouldn't have blew elemental blast at that, even if they didn't do it. Um, what do you have? Another juggernaut. All right. Well, I'm gonna probably run into a reb here, but I think it's the best way to get it out of their hand. Oh, I guess not. That's actually really nice because that means I can cast uh, the Blue Elemental Blast plus Jame Day Tome on the next turn. A Fireball to face. I'm going to see what my next card is. Because I think I'm just going to take this. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, go. Chicken out also templates uh, pretty poorly against uh, Lightning Bolt, which I'd have two of in the deck now. I am going to counter this. Okay. Maybe I should recall there. I want to wait for my, my hand size to get a little bigger, I think. Shivin. Um, Okay. I'm actually fine with that, I think. I mean, my hand wasn't great. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave, save my mana for drawing cards here. I think it's going to be difficult for my opponent to get through a circle protection here, but we'll see. They could have more juggernauts. All right.
I'm going to go ahead and pass it here. I don't think I need to start hammering their hand yet. Quite yet. I'll start doing it next turn, though. Cop R should almost be unbeatable for a red deck. An X spell. Okay. I mean, this is what Cop R does. It just kind of ends the game against a, just a mono red deck. But, all right, Greater Realm, why not? I'm just going to play it out to get it out of my hand, out of my deck. Okie doke. Well, it looks like that's the game, guys. We'll see if we get another one here. I'm going to go on a pause, though. And, uh, yeah, that was the deck versus uh, Mono Red Dragon Stompy, which is pretty cool. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, and take care now. Enjoy this old-school content. All right, later.